We are here to celebrate the opening of our new Road to Recovery Center, a dedicated initiative to support students who have faced challenges in their high school journey. Education is at the heart of everything that we do, and our main priority is ensuring that every student has the opportunity to succeed and graduate with their class. This program is designed to provide the resources, guidance, and support necessary for students to get back on track and achieve their academic goals. We are incredibly proud of the hard work and dedication that has gone into creating this program. It is a testament of our commitment to each and every student's future. Thank you again to the Roma ISD community for your support of our students and this high um, success and excellence. Without your support, we would not have been able to achieve that excellence. Thank you to our educators, our staff, our community partners, and everyone who has contributed to making this vision a reality. Together, we can make a lasting impact and empower our students to reach their full potential. So uh, again, welcome on behalf of the Roma ISD Board of Trustees. We want to welcome everybody to this event here this morning, this uh, grand opening of our Road to Recovery Center. This is um, definitely uh, a dream come true for our district. Uh, Mr. Gonzalez, our superintendent, it was his idea to begin with to get something like this started. And, and this is something that uh, I think all of you can appreciate that uh, this school district uh, is focused on academics. It is focused on our children. And we expect to give them all the proper resources to be able to excel and to be successful so that they may graduate on time. Uh, this whole project uh, would not have uh, come to fruition without the efforts of our superintendent and his staff. So Mr. Gonzalez, thank you very much for this idea. I know that my colleagues on the board, all of us feel the same way. We're very, very privileged and we're very, very honored and happy to be able to be in the position that we are on the Board of Trustees to oversee a project like this. This is one of many more projects yet to come. So uh, thank you once again for the opportunity to say a few words. Uh, know full well that this Board of Trustees is here to help and to support all these projects, our children, our employees, and the entire district. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Pettis. Uh, I'd like to thank the board for giving us the opportunity to pursue this. Uh, thank you all very much in your support. Uh, without your support, we couldn't have gotten it done. When I came back, I was doing an assessment of all our facilities, and this is the one that I came to, and we only had the ING Center. And I saw the both sides this side and where the 18 plus center is and the gym. I said, this is still a good facility. We need to put it to use. And uh, the first thing that we moved on was the 18 plus center and it looks beautiful. Thanks to our, our maintenance crew that got it ready, man. They did an amazing, amazing job. And uh, thank you guys. Real proud of the work. I, I would come here regularly and they were always on the ball. They were always getting it done. They were always, you know, little by little, but it was getting done. They did a good job over there. As you can see, if you walked inside or when you walk inside in a while, they did an amazing job on this side too. Um, new ACs, uh, new smart boards. I don't think they're called smart boards anymore. IFPs, okay, I'm a little behind on that, right? I'm still stuck with the Elmo, right? <laughs> I'm still stuck with the Elmo thing. But uh, when I came in, I also had conversations with uh, with Mr. Guzman and what we the, the direction we wanted to go at the high school. And one of the things w that we talked about was uh, our students that are falling behind on credits. And I've worked in the high school for many years. I was a teacher there, a coach there, an assistant principal there. And I know I know the problems those kids can get into because they're falling behind on credits. And after our conversation, just the light turned on and said, we have this building here, let's get it done. And let's not look behind, let's not fall on our face, let's just get it done and let's help these kids. These kids are falling behind on their credits and we want them to finish school on time that's why we're bringing them here the kids that come here still have 
can do participate in all the activities that there is at the high school. What we're doing to these kids is getting them back on track. They can catch up on their credits. If they catch up on their credits while they're here, and they can go back. But if they don't, well, they'll stay here. So the goal is to get back to the high school. So we'll have some sophomores, some juniors here, or that should be juniors right here. So we'll work with those kids. We're just uh, real excited about, um, about the opportunity of the Road to Recovery Center. It's gonna help our district and, and the graduation rate. It's gonna help our kids to finish on time so they can uh, be protect, uh, productive citizens in society, whether they go to college or whether they go to the workforce. Down, down, what? Three, three, go ahead. Three, three two, two, one. one. Yeah! yeah.